guys so welcome back to the channel if you're new here my name is Cheryl and on this channel we talk about all things beauty fashion and lifestyle so if you're interested in any of those things please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video is a styling video and I will be styling a one skirt in several different ways so if you would like to see what that skirt is and how I style it please keep watching so the skirt that I will be styling in today's video is this blue midi length satin slip skirt that I picked up from Walmart and it is by the brand free assembly and I do have it in a size small so I haven't wanted to try the slip skirt trend for a while since it first came out a couple of years ago, but I just never jumped on it because I didn't quite know how to wear it. So I picked this one up from Walmart because number one, the price was right. And you know, when it comes to these trends, I like to try it out on a lower scale first to see how I like it. How can I incorporate it into my closet before I invest in it? I tried this one here from Walmart. I do feel like it is cut a little big, so you can definitely size down and the waist is is very stretchy I love that it has a good weight to it so it's not cheap or flimsy at all and it's a piece that's going to carry you through spring summer as well as fall so it's a really nice weighted piece and I also love the length of it so it's going to come just past my knees depending on where you place it on your waist so all in all it's just a really nice skirt and I obviously love the color because blue is my favorite color so we're going to see how I can style the skirt and see if it's something that fits my personality fit my style if it's something that I would want to invest in or get in some other colors so let's go ahead and jump into look number one So this is look number one and I decided to wear the skirt as a dress so I pulled it all the way up kind of like a strapless tube dress and then I'm using my skinny Gucci belt in the color nudes to cinch in the waist. And for shoes I'm wearing these cream Kurt Geiger strappy sandals and for jewelry just because of the way that I have my hair um, I decided to put on these dangly gold earrings and then I'm layering these two gold necklaces. I wanted to have some layering jewelry because I have all of this area exposed. So I wanted to add a, a lot of jewelry there. I could probably even add a third necklace, but we're just going to stop right here. And then for bracelet, I am doing this white and gold H bracelet from Amazon. So that is what we have for jewelry. And then I have this little blue Christian Dior makeup pouch just to show you how it will look with a little clutch. And I actually think this is cute. I probably would wear this as a clutch. So I think this is really cute. And I used to have this cream YSL belt that I had for like a year and I ended up returning it to Nordstrom because I never wore it. But that would have looked really good with this look because I have on these cream sandals so that would have been a really good look if i still had that cream ysl belt so i have this little blue suede clutch that i think goes nicely with the dress and then because i'm wearing these cream heels i also have this cream clutch from victoria's secret which is really cute that i could wear if i had that cream ysl belt i think this would have been really cute as well so this is look number one turning the slip skirt into a dress so it's look number one So this is look number two and I'm wearing a skirt as a skirt and this is definitely a date night look because G is not letting me out of his sight with this top on. So for the top I'm wearing this lacy cami bodysuit paired with the satin slip skirt and for heels I'm wearing my nude Christian Louboutins and then I threw on this tan blazer from Express and then we're just going to pull up our sleeves a little bit and for jewelry we're going to do these small little knot 
earrings we're gonna wear the same layered necklaces from the last look and then i'm wearing my chanel brooch just because i feel like i need to do a lot of accessories up top because i am really exposed and for handbag because this is a date night look i would take one of my smaller handbags so i think i would take this cutie that i picked up from amazon this is also one of my most recent purchases and i think that this would be a really nice bag for the look and this would be our look number two for date night look number three now although i am wearing heels i feel like this is still a very casual look so this is something that i will wear when i'm just you know want to be elevated casual so whether i'm going to grab some drinks with the girls or just kind of like chill or hang out we're not really doing too much i think this would be the perfect look for that so i'm wearing this denim crop jacket and i just cuffed the sleeves and i'm wearing this brown leather crop cami from express along with that same blue satin slip skirt and then for heels i am wearing these brown pattern heels from steve madden's and for jewelry i'm wearing these same knotted studs same jewelry and then i threw on my gold movado watch for handbag i'm wearing the louis vuitton on a bb and this would be perfect if i wanted to carry it as crossbody or handheld again a very nice casual look if you're just having a day out or you know doing something you want to be elevated casual so this is our look number three So here is look number four, and I think that this is a really nice look if you wanted to wear it to dinner, wear it to church. I would even wear this to work with a blazer. So I'm wearing this leopard laced cami from Nordstrom. I love leopard print. I think that it is a perfect neutral, and I feel like I can wear it with anything. So I think it looks great paired with this blue satin skirt. And I'm just wearing my black Gucci belt to bring both of the pieces together. And then for shoes, I am wearing my black Sam Edelman heels. I could also do my black Christian Louboutins. I can do some black strappy sandals. Any pair of black shoes would be perfect with this and for jewelry i'm doing these same knot hoop earrings same layered necklaces and then i added my black and gold amazon watch so that is what i'm doing for jewelry and accessories and for handbag i would probably carry my loewe puzzle dupe bag from amazon so that would be the look for number four Here's our fifth look and it is another one of those elevated casual looks. So I paired the slip skirt with this button down leopard print shirt and I just pulled the sleeves up a little bit to show off my watch. I'm wearing the same gold Movado watch, also same jewelry, same earring. And for shoes, I'm wearing these cognac slides that I picked up from Shein. If I wanted to dress the outfit up a little bit more, I could have wore some cognac heels and i also have some cognac wedges but i'm just keeping this elevated casual like i said so i went with the slides and then for a handbag i am going to carry my hermes birkin dupe bag so This is a size 30, but I'm giving away the size 25. Make sure you go back and watch that video. Subscribe to my channel and enter a giveaway in the comments for a chance to win this handbag in the size 25. So this is the fifth elevated casual look. So this is the final look. This is the look that I'm grabbing if I'm running errands, going to grab lunch or do some shopping. And I want to be really casual, but also cute. I'm wearing this graphic tee by the brand Go Getter on Instagram and YouTube. You can wear any graphic tee. And I did add a front tuck to it. I don't know why I'm really into like the front tuck and the front tie, but I do like that look for this summer. And for shoes, I am wearing my black dad sandals. For jewelry, we removed all of the jewelry because, again, we are really, really casual. But we kept on some dainty hoop earrings because we always wear earrings. And for handbag, I'm just doing this really cute and tiny shoulder bag that came with one of my totes from Macy's. So this is going to be the perfect bag and the perfect look to go out and run errands, shop, 
or grab some lunch so this is our kind of look and i'm liking how it actually came together so i think i did pretty well with pulling some looks together with this slip skirt so i think this is a trend that i will definitely jump on and i will grab a couple of more of these in some other colors also looking forward to wearing this skirt in the fall i've already seen a couple of pieces in my closet that i want to put together for the fall may even do another video showing some fall looks featuring this skirt if that is something that you will be interested in seeing let me know down in the comment section below also let me know down in the comment section below which one of these looks was your favorite also don't forget to go and check out my giveaway video to win a birkin that giveaway will close on july 14th and before you leave don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye